Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I don't have a cleaning video for you because I spent the whole day in my she shed with my lawn sale. And believe it or not, I made money on my stuff that I felt was could be thrown away. Really, it's junk. I made $71.25. And everything was like for 50 cents. Um, a couple things were 10 cents. There was a few um, $3 items. And um, some of the DVDs, they went for $2. Some of them didn't. Some of them went for like a dollar or 33 or something like that. Because I, and anybody that bought DVDs, when they were done looking, I said, now get yourself a free one. And they go, a free one? And I go, yeah, you get one more. So they were a little bit surprised with that. So tomorrow I will be back outside sitting with the stuff again. And um, hopefully more of it goes out the door. And I had my husband bring my rooster house down because what I want to do when I'm done with this lawn, sa lawn sale, I want to bring stuff down from upstairs and put it into the rooster house and let it just sit there. Now I watched Bob's video today, Bob from Mountain Crest Farms. He talked about um, putting a blue sticker on everything, everything that you use, even the coffee cup that you're going to use the next morning. And when you go to use it, you take the sticker off. And at the end of a year, anything that has a sticker, apparently you never use it. And you could get rid of it because you won't miss it. And you've gone through, if you start September 1st, you've gone through Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, probably your birthday, and anybody else's birthday that comes along. And then when it's September 1st rolls around again, then you know what you will um, have used and what you will not, what you have not used because. The stuff that you use won't have a sticker anymore, and the stuff that you don't use will still have the blue sticker. And you can discard of it then, or you can do like I'm going to do. I think a two years is what I need, because to this year I took out some things that I hadn't used in a while because I, had, I hosted the bridal shower at my house. Now there are things that I probably will just have to hang on to because of that. And other things that I'd never use, they will have to go out into the building. The, I want to put them in boxes because I don't want them to get dirty. Because things that are in my she shed, if the carpenter bees have, have um, drilled holes and there's like sawdust on stuff and there's dust on, road dust on things, because it filters through the building. And this way, if they're in the box, they won't get dirty and they'll be in the building. Quite dirty. Pardon me? Quite but, well, they won't get as dirty, yeah. They probably won't get dirty at all because the ones, the things that were in the box that my mom had actually stayed pretty clean except for where the roof leaked on them and then the box got kind of funny and then the stuff inside got funny. But other than that, and it won't have a leaky roof. This doesn't have a leaky roof, so I should be fine. Now, yesterday, I forgot to tell you, when I was getting the water ready for the chickens, I have this big three-and-a-half-gallon container supposed to make my life easier. Well, it doesn't make my life easier other than when it's filled and it stays filled for a, a good week. But yesterday I thought, well, I will do this by myself. And I filled the three and a half gallon thing with water and I went to set it down on the floor so I could get more leverage to put the cover on and the whole thing spilled all over my kitchen floor. I had a flood. And my house apparently still leans, even though we jacked it up when we were redoing it. We jacked it up quite a ways. It rolled underneath the stove, underneath the refrigerator, and came out the other side of the refrigerator. So my house actually leans. It tilts one way, but it tilts another way too. So if you see my hand, my hand go, it goes like this, and then it goes like this. So everything came out from underneath the refrigerator. So I don't have any more dust under the refrigerator, I'm pretty sure, because a lot of it came out with the water that came out. But that's what I did, yes. Then when I filled it up again, I carried it outside, and then I tried putting the top on, because I figured if it's going to spill this time, 
it will be all over the ground out there. I had to wash the kitchen floor. Um, well, I mopped up the mess, and then I had to wash it two times after because I had put kombucha in the water, so the kombucha had a little bit of stickiness to it, and I could feel my shoes kind of sticking to the floor a little bit. So I washed it, and then I had to wash it again. So I have a really clean kitchen floor. So that's what I did before I started cleaning upstairs. I started in my kitchen on the floor. And um, I have a nice clean kitchen floor. Really clean. And the sad part is, though, before I wash floors, I always would sweep them and dust mop them. This time, it was just <clears throat> water all over. You know, I there was a girl that used to come to my daycare, and her mom said that in, I don't know what country it was, they used to take the dishwasher, dishwater, not dishwasher, the dishwater. When they were done washing dishes, they used to take the dishwater and splash it on the floor and then mop up the floor and that's how they cleaned their floor. Well that'd be fine if you didn't wash anything too greasy because if you wash something greasy you're gonna make your floor greasy but that's what they used to do in whatever country that was. I don't know. I don't remember what she said but it's sort of a good idea. You wash your floor every day. I don't wash mine every day unless something crazy happens like yesterday. Well that's it for today. I will try to have a, another cleaning video for you in a few days. I'm going to be sitting outside, so I won't be able to do that. I did answer my comments when I came back in because I sit out there. I do watch videos while I'm out there, but I don't always remember to comment on them because you might get interrupted, and when the video is done, it's done. So I may have watched it and then didn't comment. So if you didn't get a comment on your video today, it's because I probably got interrupted. People were coming and going, which was good. And believe it or not, there was a young couple that came in and said that the I had a really good selection of DVDs. Uh, who would have thought? Uh, not one did I think was going to be a good one. But apparently people out there know the titles and they were looking for certain titles and I had them all alphabetically arranged so I told them that they're done in alphabet and they thought wow I went through a lot of um, trouble to set them up well and it was funny because there was not a single repeat in all of those over 200 DVDs but they were alphabetically arranged and so that was today and I will talk to you all again tomorrow have a great night. Bye-bye. What's so funny? Nothing. Nothing. You. <laughs> You're always funny. Oh.